we wanted to know whether it was coaches, parents, or teammates that encouraged um, kids on ice to act aggressively. So we were interested in hockey because it provided us with a, a context in which to study um, different people that influence kids, so coaches and parents. Uh, it encouraged. It, it was a context in which to see kids working with others. Um, and the interesting thing about hockey is that we were able to capture quite reliably and systematically um, penalty minutes that um, kids um, en incurred for, for, for aggressing on ice. Uh, what we found was that uh, coaches um, exerted the biggest effect on kids' aggression on ice. So when, we, when you stack up coaches, parents, and teammates, coaches exerted the biggest effect. Um, but the effect the coaches exerted was through um, the teammates. So essentially what happens is that uh, a coach encourages to a team to play in a certain way and each kid gets a signal from how their other teammates play about whether they're playing right or, or wrong in the sense that are they playing the way that the coach expects them to play. Yeah, I think we were probably surprised by the extent to which parents didn't have much effect when compared to coaches and, and teammates. Uh, I think um, we, we read in the media and we, you know, in our own experience know about you know, hockey moms and hockey dads that sort of are banging on the boards and are sort of um, encouraging their kids to play rough. And while these, this study I don't think vindicates that type of behavior, I think it certainly um, surprised us actually how little effect parents had when compared to sort of coaches and, and teammates. Um, I think parents like to think that they exert a lot of influence on kids, particularly at that age. And perhaps while I do, I think we shouldn't underestimate what it means to play on a team um, where everyone's, you know, either playing, playing well or playing rough, and, and the signals that sends to the kids about what's valued, what's important here. One of the other interesting things we found was that uh, um, teams that play rough don't actually do well as well in, in terms of percentage of games won as teams that sort of seem to have less um, less penalty minutes. So this, this myth about, well, you got to play rough to play well, um, certainly at the team level doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to stand.